Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We are, again, in kind of the quiet time before the next major storm system begins to head its way on through. We're going to be getting the possibility of more rain across the Mid-South as we get into tomorrow and the possibility of maybe some thunderstorms mixed in with there. No severe weather, so that's some good news. But as we get into around Monday night into Tuesday, Big mass of Arctic air making its way on down from the area around central Canada. And that's going to be having a big impact on our temperatures as we go into the middle part of this next week. We also are going to be seeing, again, the possibility of maybe some wintry-type precipitation coming on through. It's, again, not a major winter system, but it definitely bears watching. And we'll help you do that here on News Channel 3. Don't forget to download our app. We'll keep you updated online and on air into the course of the next couple of days. So stay tuned for more on that. If you've never been here before, welcome to Weather Overtime. This is our online video weather blog enabling you, the viewer, to ask questions and to get updated as much as possible where it comes to weather, which is a lot more than a typical three-minute weathercast on air. So we'll bring you more information on here about this. If you can't stick around for the whole thing, that's cool. Forecast for the Mid-South in the blue bar scrolling on by down here at the bottom, or go to wreg.com slash weather for updates on the 7 to 10-day forecast and a lot more information as well. Coming up, we'll take a look at the school day forecast. We'll also take a look and see what the potentials are right now for winter weather, which again will change into the next couple of days, and also the possibility of again seeing those chilly temperatures out there for a while. Got weather reports, if you got rain reports, if you've got anything the way of temperature data out there for tonight, Let's see it. Where you are, give us a city, state, location, drop them into the comments section, and then uh, put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to some good use. And let's see what's going on out there as we go throughout the rest of our netcast for tonight. Heading into early tomorrow morning, temperatures will be quite mild. The wind's coming in from out of the south, and we'll be looking for low temperatures, not much lower than what they are right now, looking at lower to mid-50s for the most part. And by tomorrow morning, the temperatures again begin to rise by just a little bit, seeing again the possibility of some pretty mild conditions out there as we get into the course of the rest of the evening. And going into tomorrow morning, there will also be those chances of showers around the area. So commute time tomorrow, work, school, wherever you're going, a little bit of extra time on the roadways would be a very good idea just in case we get a little bit too much rainfall out there for right now. Glenn Workman, that's a very uh, positive thought right there, a little bit enthusiastic, but uh, maybe a little bit too enthusiastic for our chances for snow out there for right now. Jolie Adams Lofties, hope I'm saying that right, will we get snow on Tuesday? Yes, but your snowman icon, I don't think you're going to be able to use that at least just yet anyway for right now. And welcome to everybody else who's tuning in from across the Mid-South. 62 degrees, well above normal for this time of the year. We'll be back way above normal tomorrow, even pushing 70 degrees. Not exactly a record high, 76 set back in 2007, and a record low of 6 set all the way back in World War I. Low temperature this morning, 39. That was decently close to normal. No rainfall officially today. We're still ahead for the year by 20-plus inches. So that's a decent amount of rainfall and precipitation out there for right now. River bridge lights shut off. Apparently a tow in and around the area going on, so they usually turn those lights off out there. Traffic on I-40 is moving along quite nicely. View from our Cotton Exchange camera in downtown Memphis. Very foggy this morning. Not the case at this point in time around the east side of the I-240 Super Collider, looking back toward Park Avenue around Poplar and 240, back toward the Quince Avenue overpass. Traffic on the east side of I-240 is again moving along quite nicely. No major problems being seen for tonight. Roadways, again, could be a little wet in the morning, but nothing showing up again immediately at this time for right now at this point. So, again, something to take a look at there. Got a decent amount of moisture out there, but not enough to form anything in the way of showers out there across much of the area for right now. And, again, we'll be looking for more potential of rain out there as we get more of a flow coming in from off of the Gulf of Mexico. Now, different story well back to our north. Notice the moving lines right here coming in from out of the south. That's those southerly winds that we've been talking about. Meanwhile, back to the north of us into around portions of central Canada, you're looking at a big gap right here in the clouds. That's dry, cold air dropping southward, and it's about ready to make its way over the Canadian border 
and heading into the United States. This is going to be single-digit temperatures for the northern high plains, for the Great Lakes, for areas around New England. Upper Midwest could be looking at some bitter cold temperatures out there. We're going to kind of catch a glancing blow out of this. It's going to drop the temperatures, but it's not going to be anything in the way of what they're going to be seeing up north for right now, which again is going to be a big change for us at this point in time. And again, little, if anything, outside of just a few scattered sprinkles showing up at this time, mainly back in Missouri and eastern Arkansas, picking up a few of those earlier this evening, but that's about it on Storm Tracker 3S radar uh, for the time being for right now. Paulette Morrow, 57 and clear in New Bern, Tennessee. Thank you very much. Uh, for that one, Donna Dix Keith, what's our winter look like? Uh, that's kind of a tall order. If you'd like to see the winter weather forecast from NOAA, all you have to do is go to NOAA.gov for their winter weather outlook for the entire country. And it's a pretty telling one for this year. If you'd like to take a look and see what's coming in our direction in general for the time being for right now. Looking again throughout the rest of the area for tonight, again, outside of a few scattered showers, we're probably not going to be winding up with too much of anything out there when it comes to anything in the way of rainfall. Again, scattered chances of rainfall out there through about News Channel 3 at 10, and then minor chances, but still possible, into the rest of the evening out there for right now. Temperatures very mild. Those southerly winds doing a good job of keeping the the temperatures up just past 8 o'clock this evening and showing again those temperatures not really dropping all that much as we go into the course of the rest of the evening for right now. And that's going to keep temperatures again pretty mild overnight and that's going to keep any chance of any precipitation we have just in the form of liquid, not cold enough for anything involving snowfall at this time. So by News Channel 3 at 10, late edition will be on a little later tonight. Temperatures will still only be back in the lower to mid 50s or so, and that'll go right on into about daybreak tomorrow morning, starting at 4.30 with Todd Murs. Southerly winds, chances of rain, Maybe even a rumble of thunder out there, but severe weather I don't think is going to be a, a problem at this point in time, so looking pretty quiet again for right now. Chances of rain continue and increase throughout the rest of the day, so even if the kids head off to school with cloudy skies and not much rainfall, there will be more chances of rain and maybe some thunder as we go into tomorrow afternoon and evening. And temperatures again tomorrow with those southerly winds. By the time the kids get out of school, mid to upper 60s, even pushing 70 degrees in parts of northwest Mississippi and around southeastern Arkansas. So we're looking at a very mild day. But notice also something else here too. Again, the winds coming in from out of the south here. Back to the north in Missouri and Arkansas, the moving arrows start turning around from the opposite direction. That's our front making its way into the area. And by the time we hit tomorrow evening, the wind's again pretty solidly out of the north, but it's going to take a while for the full force of that cold air to go all the way up from Canada, all the way down our direction. So yes, we'll see the front move through about this time tomorrow, but the colder air is going to take a little bit longer for it to make its way several thousand miles this direction. Either way, it is on the way, so get prepared for some big changes in temperatures coming up. All right, severe weather threat for Monday. Does not look like it at this time. Again, there is a line, again, where we take a look at what is severe and what is not severe. Right now, the Storm Prediction Center for the call it the southern half of the viewing area, is looking for the generic possibility of a few thunderstorms. As of right now, the threat for anything involving severe weather is very low, so there's not much of anything out there. There's not going to be enough energy to get a lot of thunderstorms started in the way of about severe weather for right now at this point in time. Uh, Jeff Williams, allergies have been hitting me pretty hard. Yes, thank you very much uh, for that one out there. Uh, Glenn Workman, the proper term is mucus, if you want to use that, uh, if you want to be scientifically accurate. Thank you very much for that one for right now. And as of right now, also looking again at the potential for that cold air making its way into the area. Here's the way it's going to shake out for right now. And again, timing on this could change as we go into the course of the next couple of days. Earlier or later for right now, this is the best, again, this forecast estimate that we have. Colder air comes on through. Again, the line switches around for those northerly winds as we get into Monday night, Tuesday morning. The rain chances continue across the area. Rain in green, mixture of rain and snow in pink, and back over to snow into around the white to purple categories. No freezing rain at this point in time. 
might be the possibility of a few sleep pellets out there if the conditions are right. But again, right now, that's decently iffy at this point. So by early Tuesday morning, that cold air is starting to affect the moisture out there, taking it from liquid to a liquid frozen mixture. Getting into around the lunchtime areas around late morning, early afternoon, that makes its way across the Mid-South. But keep in mind, this is still going to be a very shallow chance of getting precipitation out of this. As this cold air comes on through, yes, it will be changing a lot of moisture from liquid over to frozen, but we have two things working against us at this time for much of any accumulation. We're going to be seeing very warm ground temperatures, so anything that settles on the surface is more than likely going to be, again, toasty enough to keep things from sticking around. Grassy areas, that's a different story. On the roadways, the asphalt things should be, again, on the warm side out there, and that could, again, help out to make certain things stay wet across much of the area. Now, going into and around the area of Tuesday evening, again, that drier air comes on through. It's cold. It's also dry. It's going to wring the moisture out very quickly as it pushes all that moisture away from us down to the south and to the east. So this is going to be a sharp turnover to a rain-snow mixture. It's going to be a quick turnover, and it's going to be just as quick to get out of here as we go into Tuesday evening. So there's going to be little, if any, chance left over of this as we go toward late Tuesday, early Wednesday. All right, now, again, a question everybody's asking, what exactly are we looking for for right now? Using several different computer models out there to take a look at what goes on. Some computer models are a little bit more conservative. They, again, do not put in as much as they think in the way of moisture. They move the storm systems through a little quicker. Some computer models, again, take a lot more into account, slow the storm systems down, and allow for a lot more moisture and a lot more energy. So what we're looking at for right now is kind of that middle ground territory between those models, giving you the best of both worlds. Again, the conventional wisdom is showing a minor chance of some sleep pellets in parts of the Mid-South if they manage to form whatsoever. It depends on how hard and how fast that cold air really moves in here. If it gets in here a lot quicker, we may see a lot more sleet. If it gets in here, again, just sort of sidling its way on through, we may not see any sleep whatsoever, but right now there is going to be the possibility of some minor amounts mixed in with that. So we may see a rain, sleet, snow combination coming down Tuesday morning into and around Tuesday afternoon or so for the right time. So again, that's what we're going to be looking at again for right now for the time being. Back into Tuesday morning, this is where we start seeing the snow accumulating. If we get anything, again, whatsoever, and confidence is not high at this time for that, the best possibilities at this point are going to be in a strip right around I-40 from Shelby County all the way back across the Tennessee River and then also into around central Arkansas just outside the viewing area back into central and parts of southwestern Arkansas. Now again, the computer models at this time leaning a little bit more heavily toward the possibility of seeing some accumulation out there for right now. But keep in mind, this is still 48 hours out, so we are looking at a lot of time for things to change out there, and it only takes one or two things in the atmosphere to change to either get us a whole bunch more moisture or nothing whatsoever. What's going to change with this specifically? Well, we're just going to have to wait and see for right now. Either way, this graphic will change in the next couple of days. So the best thing you can do is keep it tuned to us here at News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised as to, again, what's going to be seeing, again, the possibility of this out there. Do we have the potential of some snow accumulating out there for the time we get into Tuesday? Yes. Is it going to be all that much? Probably not, and some areas, again, may not wind up with anything at all the way it's looking at right now. It really all depends on how quickly that cold air gets here and how fast it manages to sweep that moisture on out of the picture. So if everything works at this point in time, by early Tuesday morning, starting the snow off up north and then dropping its way into the Mid-South as we go through Tuesday afternoon. Again, that changeover from liquid to frozen is going to depend on the timing and the arrival of that cold air. If it gets here earlier, we could see even more than this very easily. So again, there's a lot of changes in play at this time. 
definitely want to keep it tuned and keep it updated with News Channel 3, and we'll let you know about what may be happening and coming our way as we go into the course of the next couple of days. So definitely want to stay tuned for that. All right, seven-day forecast, running the numbers here as we go into and around the area uh, for right now, looking at the possibility of numbers back in the mid-60s tomorrow. Again, that's where we see the potential of showers. I'm going to throw in the possibility of a few thunderstorms out there. No severe weather, but once again, that is going to be a distinct possibility as we get into tomorrow, especially tomorrow, late afternoon, early evening, and then changing that colder weather into the picture. Look at the temperature difference here as we go into Tuesday. Mid to upper 60s for Monday, mid 30s for high temperatures on Tuesday. This is going to be a powerful smack of cold air, and it's not even going to be that cold for us here in the Mid-South. Single digits north of us, that is going to be something that's going to be really incredible to see that temperature difference. And again, watching that changeover from rain early Tuesday morning to that mixture as we go into the Tuesday afternoon period, and then leaving the Mid-South as that drier air bulldozes all that moisture on out of the picture. So again, still a lot it could happen at this point in time. So again, we'll keep you updated as to what goes on at this point in time. Uh, Johnny Bryant, where is News Channel 3? We're located in what's called the Mid-South. That's North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and Eastern Arkansas with Memphis, Tennessee uh, located right there in the middle. So again, welcome to the Mid-South area. Temperatures as we go into Wednesday, they start to normalize a little bit back in the mid-40s. It will be cold and mostly clear early, but there will be some clouds out there to start off with. So we've got the mostly cloudy icon to start and then clearing out as we go throughout the rest of the day. And some pretty frigid numbers at the bus stop, too. Upper 20s to around the lower 30s and then dry for the rest of the week. If you watched News Channel 3 yesterday, you saw the possibility of some scattered showers next weekend. We've taken those out of the picture for right now. So hopefully it stays that way so that we don't have any outdoor problems. Next weekend actually looks to be right on the money where it comes to anything involving uh, temperatures right where they should be for this time of the year. So looking good for everybody to get outdoors and get some fresh air for a bit. And that's good news because another cold burst is on the way as we go toward the third week of December. Temperatures back in the lower 40s for highs as we hit next week, next this week, but the week after that. And again, lower 40s possible out there. So we could see some pretty chilly days ahead. Again, not exactly record-breaking cold into and around the area, but again, we're going to be seeing some pretty chilly conditions. So your utility bill is probably going to go upwards for just a little bit. On the days where there's plenty of sunshine, open up those blinds and drapes and get some free solar heating going on to help your utility bill out by just a little bit, kind of reduce the shock of how much we're going to have to pay on the utility bills over the next few days. And again, pretty sharp drop in the temperatures coming up as we go into Tuesday. So some big changes heading our direction in about the next couple of days. We'll keep you updated on the forecast. Again, we've got a lot of changes. And again, it's going to be possibly changing by the hour into the next few days. Keep up to date with what's going on at wreg.com slash weather. Complete updated forecast available there. One more check of the forecast into tomorrow. Kids at the bus stop probably are going to be, again, pretty mild out there with the raincoats with the numbers back in the mid to lower 50s for lows tomorrow morning. But there will be that chance of showers out there. It's going to be breezy throughout the rest of the day as those winds increase in front of that storm system. And then the possibility, slim but still in there, I think, of some rumbles of thunder out there. So again, that's what we're going to be watching for. And by the time the kids head home, it's going to be very mild, very breezy. Temperatures back in the mid-60s out there. Chances for rain, again, relatively limited, but they will still be possible. So an extra few minutes to get to where you need to go to tomorrow, I don't think it's going to be a bad idea. So definitely want to keep that in play as you go into the rest of the forecast there. Coming up in about half an hour or so, join me right before 9 o'clock, give or take by a few minutes as we rehash what's going on here with the updated computer models. And we'll take a look at what's going on with whether where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, join me on my Facebook page, Periscope, and Twitter. And we'll take a look at weather around the globe for United States service personnel out there at various locations. We'll also take a look at more of your weather pictures that you have sent in over the last couple of days. And thank you very much to everybody who has sent in some of those pictures out there. And we'll show those again coming up here right before 9 o'clock on Sunday evening. That'll do it for this edition of Weather Overtime. Again, thanks to the NFL, we are 
mucho late for tonight. We will be on at about roughly 10.47 with the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10. And again, keep up to date online, social media. We're all over the place here. So we'll keep you updated on the forecast, current conditions, all kinds of unique and interesting stuff. And, of course, you can get the latest details at wreg.com slash weather with more information on there. Questions, concerns, ideas about what you would like to see on this blog, we'd love to know about it, but my psychic powers are a little bit below par, so it's better if you just tell me. And the best way to do that is send me an email at austin.onic at wreg.com. More satellite information, more climate, more river information, whatever it is you'd like to see on here, let us know. We want this to be the place where you tune in for all your weather needs where it comes to the Mid-South. So again, thank you very much for everybody out there for dropping by tonight. A lot can change in the next few days, so please keep it tuned for updates on that. And, of course, Todd Demers has your complete forecast update that will be bright and early tomorrow morning. Great for the kids to get up, and you can make certain the parents know what's coming up for the school day. 4.30 Monday morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for me on the late edition tonight at about 1047, and of course more coming up right before 9 o'clock on my Facebook page, so stay tuned for a lot more there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, USA, thank you to everybody for checking in for tonight, and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend and into next week for what is going to prove to be a very changeable forecast in the next several days. Have a great night, stay safe into next week, and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest.